All right, 7.7, last section of Unit 7, Proving Trapezoids and Quadrilateral Coordinate Proofs. All right, so we start off with the concept of a mid-segment and medium. The mid-segment, keyword being mid, of a trapezoid is a segment that is parallel to both bases and connects the midpoints of the legs. So this is the midpoint of each leg. So in other words, these two pieces are equal and these are equal. That makes the midpoint. And all three of these are parallel. Okay? Very important. Now the length of this line, the median, is very simple mathematical equation. We add the two bases and we divide by two or multiply by one half. It's basically the average <coughs> of the two uh, bases. All right, so when you start your answer to the find x. Well, here's our median here, a little hard to read. So again, we just say it is 1 half times 30 plus 12. 1 half 30 plus 12. Or you can say 30 plus 12 divided by 2. It makes no difference. So that's one half of 42, so x is 21. <clears throat> Here, just because it's turned sideways, makes no difference. I'll write this the other way. 34 plus 24 divided by 2. These are the same thing, just two different ways of writing it. That's 58 divided by 2, x equals 29. So a very simple calculation, you just average the two bases. Now, for a trapezoid, A, B, C, D, E and F are midpoints. So again, we know those are equal and those two are equal. If A, B is 6x, E, F is 4x, and C, D is 70, then find X. So we're going to erase these and do them over again. So uh, we're going to cross them out and do them over again. So, Again, we take both bases, so 70 plus 6x divided by 2 is equal to the middle. Oops, off the screen. So 4x. All right? Now, we got to get x by itself. This pesky 2 is bothering us, so we need to multiply both sides by 2. Move this up here for me. I don't have any space for it. All right. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. Cancel my 2, that's going to leave me 70 plus 6x. Over here I'm going to have 8x. Subtract 6x. So x is 35. Alright. Now we're going to do it again. And now it says if AB is 3x, so you can erase these if you want to just cross these out and do this. EF is 2x plus 17, and CD is 2x plus 20. We're just doing it again. So same concept, or if you wanted to redraw it, you know, you could redraw it real quickly, hopefully better than that, and then just, you know, label 3x, 2x plus 17, and 2x plus 20. All right, so again, it's the base one plus base two divided by two is equal to the median. Simplify, that's five X plus 20. Also, if you want, you can multiply by two right now. That cancels over here. I'm going to join and get 5x plus 20 equals, be careful, make sure you distribute the 2 to both of these, 4x plus 34, subtract x, subtract 20, x is 14. Up here, x is 35. All right, so the same concept, just a little bit more complicated with the variables in there, but you just add one base plus the other base, divide by 2, and there you go. So if A, B, C, D is an 
Isosceles, isosceles trapezoid. It is, actually. It says if AE is 4x plus 6, EC is 2x plus 3, and BD, the entire thing, BD is 5x plus 18. Then find x. Well, remember, in the shape, AC is congruent to BD. So all we do is say AC, which would be 4x plus 16, I'm sorry, 4x plus 6, plus the 2x plus 3, that would be AC, because that's AE plus EC, is equal to BD, 5x plus 18. So we just won't join like terms, you get 6x plus 9 equals 5x plus 18. Subtract 5x, it leaves us 1x. Subtract 9, we get 9. So x is 9. And again, that just comes off the properties of an isosceles trapezoid. Remember that little chart with the check marks on it is really useful for the, this uh, these assignments. All right, show one pair of opposite sides is parallel and the other sides is not. All right. Well, in this case, these, you can see with the triangles on them, are parallel to each other. The legs are not. If you remember me talking in class, that this is usually, trapezoid is usually a triangle with the top cut off. Which is why the legs are not parallel, because these legs are eventually going to come to a point if they were a triangle. So what we need to do is find the slope four times. Now the isosceles trapezoid, you have to prove it's a trapezoid first. So one pair of parallel sides and the other pair not. And then you have to prove one of these two things. Congruent legs or the diagonals being congruent. Your choice. So you're going to do the distance formula twice. It just, which points do you want to use? That's all. So G, H, J, R. So negative 3, 4. Right there. 2, 5. 3, 3. And negative 1, 0. So G, H, J, Okay, so it definitely does not look like a parallelogram. Obviously, GR is longer than HJ. So, is it a trapezoid? What we have to do is prove that GR and HJ are parallel, and the other two are not. Well, remember, the nice thing is, on these, yes, you can do the slope formula, y minus y over x minus x. And, for example, I'll just do one right now, GH just to remind you how to do it. So y minus y over x minus x. That would be negative 1 over negative 5 or positive 1 fifth. And that makes sense because gh is a positive line if you look at it. But the easiest thing to do on these when you can just count is just count. So I'm going to do the slope of gh the slope of HJ, the slope of JR, and the slope of RG. <laughs> so from G, I'm going to count to H. Up 1, that's positive 1. Right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> one fifth. From H to J, I'm going to have to go down 1, 2. So that's a negative 2. And right 1. So that's negative 2 over 1, or just negative 2. From J to R, I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to go left, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's positive 3 fourths. So you can tell right now that GH and JR are not 
parallel to each other. Now our last hope is RG. So from R, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. Up 4 is positive 4. Over, I'm going to go left 1, 2. Left 2. That equals negative 2. Just like here. So my statement is GHJR is a trapezoid because we have to remember we have to make a statement and say why it's trapezoid. We say it is a trapezoid <coughs> because one pair of opposite sides are parallel and other two are not. That's enough. And remember, every time you need to pause, do so and then continue. Okay. Two five. <coughs> B. Negative two one. I. Negative one, negative six. And E, 9, 4, which is unfortunately off the chart. 7, 8, that would be 9 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, it would be right there. So again, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. That would just be right here. <clears throat> Not a big deal. We just have to count one. Now, that kind of looks like an isosceles triangle. I mean, trapezoid. It looks like if you went further, it would form an isosceles triangle. We don't know. We have to check. Again, all we need to do is do the slope four times. So I'm going to do B to E. I'm going to do E to T. T to J and J to B. Again, I'm doing the slope on all three. Four, sorry. So from B to E, I'm going to go down one, two, down two, and right one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is off one more seven. For ET, I need to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Down 9. Left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. TJ, I gotta go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Left 1. And then for JB, I go up one, two, three, four. Then I go right one, two, three, four. I apologize. I just realized I messed up, and I did E at nine three, not nine four. So that's gonna throw it off a little bit. E should be up here at 9, 4. So, my count from B to E should have been down 1. It should be a 1, not a 2. And still right 7. Now, the important one is E to T. So, it would be down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, this should be down 10. Negative 10 over negative 10 is positive 1. And 4 over 4 is 1. So I have proven that this and this are parallel. Okay? Now, to prove that it is an isosceles, I have to do one of two things. I either have to prove that JT and BE are the same distance, or I need to prove BT. BT 
and JE are the same distance. It makes no difference. You're basically going to be doing the distance formula two times, so it's your choice what you want to do. I'm just going to do JT. So square root, I'm going to use the format every time. This is minus, not plus. Okay, so J. Not JT, what am I doing? I'm talking about JT. IT, this is an I there, my bad. Can't read my writing. So IT, um, I'm going to be going negative 2 minus negative 1, careful with that. And then 1 minus negative 6. Again, careful with that. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 squared is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 squared is 49. So that's the square root of 50. Remember, I do not have to turn it into a decimal. That's fine. Now I'm going to do VE. So, same format. I'm going to do BE. So, 2 minus 9 and 5 minus 4. Well, 2 minus 9 is 7, negative 7. Squared is 49. 5 minus 4 is 1. Squared is 1. That gives me the square root of 50. So, again, I am good to go. I know this is an isosceles trapezoid. So I have to make my statement and I say that B I T E is an isosceles trapezoid. Because one pair of opposite sides have the same slope and other pair does not and legs are congruent. And again, you could say the legs are congruent, or if you found the diagonals are congruent, you're good to go. So, this is the same as we talked about before. You graph your quadrilateral, think about what you believe it is, then use the different formulas to classify it, and then write your concluding statement. Okay, number six. Determine the best name for the quadrilateral. So, 0, 0, 5, 0. Immediately, I know this is going to be a nice one to graph. Do the slope on. 4, 3. And 9, 3. Yeah, it's going to be just off slightly. So, here we go. I think it's a parallelogram. That's my prediction. All right? Um... So, right off the bat, I am going to do the slope of VO, the slope of OE, the slope of EL, and the slope of LV. Now, the easy ones, this is V, this is O, this is E, this is L. The easy ones are EL and VO. because they are zero, because they're horizontal lines. Now I need to do EV. Just up again, the order, sorry, because they're not written in the order there are up here. So VO, I need OL and VE. Now remember, those I can just count. So OL, I'm going to go from O, 1, 2, 3, up, which is positive, and 1, 2, 3, 4, right. From, 
for VE, I'm going to go up one, two, three, and right one, two, three, four. Okay, so there we have it. We know that opposite sides are parallel, so this is definitely a parallelogram. And I did the easy way. I didn't, you know, I did it both a pair of opposite sides have same slope. Now, it also would have been easy to do the slope of EL and VO, these two, because it's just zero, and I could have just counted one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And four, five. So they both have a distance of five. And I could have said op one pair of opposite sides are parallel and congruent. I could have used that justification also. And that would have been very quick to prove also. Um, and then what's it not? Well, you can pick. Um, it's a lot, not a lot of things. It's not a trapezoid. Um, because it has two pair of opposite parallel lines. So that means it can't be a trapezoid if the opposite sides are parallel all around. Okay, example seven. Negative four, positive three. You see, negative one, positive, wait, I'm sorry, that's negative three. Didn't look right. Negative four, negative three. See how easy it is to make a little mistake like that? C. L is negative one, positive four. Four, four. And seven, negative three. Sorry, problems with the board. Well, I'm just going to roll with point C. Uh, I went to negative 6 because I can't read the tiny numbers. Negative 4, negative 3 is right here. Now that looks more like what I'm going to predict to be an isosceles trapezoid. So I need to find the slopes of LA, the slope of AN. Face, the slope of NC or CN and the slope of CF. All right, so LA and CN are very easy because they are both zero. They are horizontal lines. The slope of AN is down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right one, two, three. And LC, CL, is down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left one, two, three. So down seven, left three. That's positive seven thirds. So they have opposite slopes. Not opposite reciprocals, not perpendicular, just opposite slopes. Negative seven thirds and positive seven thirds. Okay, so we know that we have a trapezoid, one pair of parallel sides, opposite, but we also need to prove that the legs are the same or the diagonals are the same. It does not matter. So uh, let's see, we did the legs before, so why don't we prove the diagonals this time, just to be different. So I'm going to do ln, so ln, can't write board is suddenly out of alignment for some reason. So ln is square root of negative 1 minus 7 squared plus 4 minus negative 3 squared. 
So negative 1 minus 7 is negative 8, squared is 64. Plus, negative 4 plus 3 is 7, squared is 49. So that's the square root of, do a little bit of math here, Minus 4 is 13, 6 and 4 is 10, 14, 143. And now I'm going to do CA. So C, negative 4, minus 4, squared, plus negative 3, minus negative 3, no, A, okay, this would be 4, minus 4 squared. So that's going to be negative 8 squared is 64, plus familiar, plus 49, so obviously that's 143 also, so we have proven the diagonals are congruent. So we have proven that this is an isosceles trapezoid, because one pair opposite sides, same slope, other sides do not. And diagonals are congruent. That's what makes an isosceles, not just a regular trapezoid. And what is it not? Well, it's not a parallelogram. Because only one pair of opposite parallel sides. And this is our last example promise. Negative 5, 0. I know it's long. Negative 5, 0, 3, 2, 5, 6, 2, and negative 3, positive 4. Okay, so what does it look like? Possibly a parallelogram. We're not sure. So I'm going to do the slopes of all sides. So I'm going to do EL and the slope of FO, which are hopefully parallel. And I'm going to do the slope of EF and the slope of LO, which is hopefully parallel. So E to L. I'm going to go up 1, 2, right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is 1, 4. FO, I'm going to go up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, nope, up 2, my bad, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That doesn't look right. Well, it's not going to be a parallelogram for sure. Let's see if my points are right. Negative 5, 0. Again, I, I'm not reading right. My points should be a negative 5. I went to negative 7. It's 4 and 6 are really throwing me off. I apologize. Okay. So, again, from F to O, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There you go. 2 eighths or 1 fourth. Now, F to E, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, right to 2. Just 2. From O to L, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 2. Again, that's also 2. So I know I have a parallelogram because opposite sides are equal, or have the same slope. And this is it. We're finished. Parallelogram, both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Uh, they have the same slope. Uh, what is it not? It's not a square. You can pick anything uh, because there's no 
perpendicular lines. You can say it's not a rectangle for that reason also. And you know it's not perpendicular because there's no opposite reciprocals. And that's it.